Hey babies, what's up my darling MVPs and how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sale with Mimi Shosley Mimi where you get the gist. I see they do waiting, I see they hot. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If you snooze, you do what? You lose. Are you here to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the hot. So, guys, um, the other video I made, I was telling you guys on how um Liema and Yolanda is being put up there as people who are really stepping their best foot forward. <laughs> and it may seem as though Yolanda heard it and said, "Hello, I have another news for you." Anyways, guys, it is a congratulation thingy for Yolanda Mukonde International, as she says, "Good day, Yoli Fires." Yolanda will be the host of the Guinea Lodge launch on the 1st of June. Tickets are a hundred for adults, which includes a complimentary drink and the Aru 350, sorry, Aru 50 for kids. However, we have a special offer from the 19th to the 26th of May. Tickets are Aru 60 for adults. And, okay, meaning the tickets will be Till the 19 to 26, it's going to be Aru 60 for adults and Aru 20 for kids. Know that drinks and food will be sold inside and we will have sip and paint, live music, massages and the photo booth. To buy a ticket to Wasa Pritchard Villas here, Yola store will also have a stall to sell Yola merchandise. Guys, Yola store, hmm. So this is actually an interesting one. I think I love whatever that's going to happen there. You know, it's going to be an interesting one. But meanwhile, they think I, they have a, what's it called, discounts for people who actually get their tickets from now till, from now till 26th. That'll be, I think, from the 19th to 26th. Yeah, you know. So after then, it's going to go back to adults, Aru 100 Nera, then kids, Aru 50 Nera. That is 50 rounds. I said Aru 50 Nera, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that is 50 razzo guys all right guys and while yolanda revealed this new gig almost celebration like congratulations is just flying everywhere so let's read some of those ones before we continue this is your time queen says bantu we have a hard-working queen let's apply the same energy yoli fires so truly you guys have like that's why she said she is a busy babe yeah mm -hmm. Yoli fires, don't forget to bring your coins, okay? 1st of June, we show up till we drop at Yola store. And that Yola store, I think it's for Yolanda, right? God is great all the time. I think the Yola store is for Yolanda. Hmm. That means she has been cooking something. Okay, we'll see about that later. I am coming. I want the front seat this time. Yoli fires, this is for Ross Bante. I am so happy. Super proud of you, Mama too many more babes and um, what I'm, am i trying to say right now i want to say that um the yolanda fans they are really doing shakara on the social street they feel like yolanda is really giving them bragging rights especially for someone who was disqualified according to them congratulations yolanda till the wheels fall off my queen yolanda early bed special is also on the many hmm interesting it's your time to shine True definition of when the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. Interesting. Yoli fires, let's get the ticket. Yola store. They are lamenting on this Yola store. And that Yola store means it is going to be Yolanda's um, item there. You know. Okay. Securing the bag. Loving it. Kesena. Goat. Laba. Busy. Queen. Empress. Duchess. Goddess. Hey. Haruya Highness. Omo, this name. Entao. 
Wahala for who go hype me like this so <laughs> all right guys this is how the yolanda fans have been hyping her on all platform you go to facebook they're hyping yolanda go to x app they're hyping yolanda go to ig they're hyping yolanda go to tiktok they're hyping her yoli fires are you proud of yolanda mina i am shame that girl is really working hard haibo i am so proud of my darling yoli her evasion was unjust and unfair however However, she rose like the phonix she is. I am really proud of her. I am a Z, but I love it for her. Yolanda keeps shining my baby girl. Yolifaya choose well. Very proud of her. Love her so much. So these are many more guys. People have been, fans have been hyping um, Yolanda that she is literally doing well. Meanwhile, let's enter the next stage with Yolanda. So guys, remember um yolanda's episode with jared dropped yesterday you know we have been waiting for that episode it dropped yesterday and after watching it so many people have been hyping jared jared name have been flying left right and center you turn right you're hearing jared you turn left jared you turn front jared back jared everybody's talking about jared they love the way he handled the questions with yolanda okay let's read this by far the best episode for me. I am not just saying it for vibes, but it's genuinely coming from the heart. Jared has to be the best guest for me, that is. You know, have you been watching Yolanda's um, podcast ranging from when he had Mitch, Bravo B, Willie and um, Chwenza, um, Liema, right? Liema and then now Jared. Did I miss any name? So have you been watching it? Do you also accept the notion that Jared is the best so far? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Okay, coming from Bev, Bev says, 100% the best. I agree. Jared and Yolanda together are fire, both intelligent and interesting, and should have been top two. It is sad that both left before the deed. We would have had an exceptional last week if Jared or them and Yolanda had been finalists. Hmm. Really? So you think if Jared and them Yolanda were finalists, it's going to take a different tone. It's going to be an interesting one. Who else accepts this notion from um, Bev? Let me know what you think. While well, we we'll go to the next one. Coming from Maske, precisely Guamam. Hey, Shem, what's an episode? I too agree with you. Jared is smart. Yo, okay. Precise. Okay, I've read this. Okay, I've read this. So as you can see, this is people, you know, agreeing that Jared is actually smart. Many people came out in their numbers. They were saying the same thing about Jared, that Jared is smart, that he's actually, he was actually prepared, you know, to say whatever he had to say there. Did you watch it or do you have something else to say about Jared or you still have the same thing those people have been carrying his name up, up high for? Okay, Shameless says, I watch a 45 minute video three times. Wow, is that how interesting it is? Okay, let's continue. During working hours, if you watch this video and then laugh and enjoy it, then you need Angel Michael and the strength of a thousand men <laughs> to deliver you from witchcraft. So this person says, he or she watched this during working hours. I hope they don't suck you from job though. <laughs> hope you did this in your free time. That he watched it three good times. That it was actually an interesting episode with some um, Yolanda and Jared. And then Nancy says, Jared is definitely my post show fave. He is so smart and I think he knows what he is doing. I am glad I watched Yolanda's podcast and got to know him a little bit. And then this person said, very matured and smart dude, lost on this one. Meaning, the flower there is Yola, I'm sorry, Liema. How can you say Liema lost on this one? Must they be together? No one lost anyone. I think they are both doing well for themselves. Exactly. I love me, reasonable people. Love him so much. So, guys, um, this person is saying Jared is her post-show fave. And meanwhile, if there is one thing I have always said on this, my channel, is how much I love how Jared is moving post-show. He does not send anybody. He does not entertain naysayers. He's actually trying to keep his ways clean. Like, he just wants clean energy around him. Yeah, he has actually been doing that. 
despite all the drags to his name, he did not come out for once and said, oh, you see these people calling me names, yada, yada, yada. He did not do something like that. He is very smart guy. Enjoy the interview. Guys, Jared was trending all, long, all along because of how he handled this interview with um, Yolanda Mukondi International. Jared is so smart and wise. Oh my God, Jared is smart. 100% and his management are the best. I love Yolanda podcast. Mm, so sweet to know you love Yolanda's podcast. And then this person said, guys, I need help. I am obsessed with Jared or them beauty. I now understand them babes. See skin like milk. Release me in finale. Ha, I love you so much, my handsome boy. Which It was a video of um, Jared showcasing his skin routine, right? How he take care of his skin. I think he's on his IG reels. Yeah, you'll see it there if you're interested to, to know how. So, talking about Jari, this person says, Gist has reached me about my Jarima ship, you know. And then this person said, I need it, Kotiwani. Meanwhile, getting to hear something like about Gist reaching about Jarima, that is um, Jari and um, Liema. You know, one thing many people wanted to hear, right? One thing many people wanted to hear for sure is how far about Liema and Jari. But since post show is consigned, Liema has been focused on her work, her business. Jared has been also doing his own thingy. Like, because people already predicted that Liema is going to be all over Jared post show. But reverse is the case. Everybody is doing their thing. Nobody is going to anybody. You know? So it's so surprising to see some people who thought Liema would be modding her fan base by, you know, rushing, gushing over Jared because in the house, she acted like without Jared, she wouldn't leave. That she wouldn't survive, you know. So right now they're saying something is cooking up with Jared and Liema, which we do not know if that is true, you know. But meanwhile, some people took it so personal, just like this person right here that says, you all are evil upon everything he did to the girl. Omo, I said it, you guys are taking this game personal. I wish you do watch um, this girl's life, Yolanda's life. I know that it was a gameplay with his housemates and do not crucify anybody because of the gameplay. The game is over, right? Let them move on. If tomorrow you see Liam and Jari together talking, leave, let them be. You see Z and Papi talking, let them be. They cannot be enemies forever, guys. What do you think about that? I know many people will say no to this one. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to be dropping my voice right here. And now to see you guys later. Thank you so, so much for always sailing with me. Bye for now, babies.